pure packs presented by this vitamin repairs kidney and quickly stops proteinuria. As the kidney's function as filters, allowing extra salts and fluids to pass through while keeping proteins, proteinuria is the term used to describe the state of having an excessive amount of proteins in the urine. Ideally, this condition should not arise. Let's now discuss creatinine levels. During muscular and metabolic activity, the muscles create creatinine, a waste product that is typically eliminated by the kidneys. Two highly informative indicators of kidney health are the quantity of creatinine in the blood and the amount of protein in the urine. Damage to the kidneys may make it more difficult for them to filter creatinine, resulting in an increase in the blood's creatinine level. A further consequence of kidney injury is the possibility of protein leakage into the urine, which raises the urine's protein content and leads to proteinuria. What signs and symptoms of proteinuria are there, then? One typical symptom that there are too many proteins in the urine is foamy urine. When damaged kidneys are unable to maintain fluid balance, swelling, known as edema, can occur, especially in the hands, feet, or face. Because your body may not be getting enough of the various amino acids it requires from proteins, you may also experience weakness, weariness, and a general feeling of being sick. Proteinuria is a sign of kidney disease, and since damaged kidneys are less able to control fluid levels, kidney impairment can also manifest as elevated blood pressure. Your blood pressure may rise as the amount of fluid, including salt and water, in your body increases. One of the main risk factors for renal disease is high blood pressure. Hypertension can cause kidney disease, while kidney impairment can cause high blood pressure. Therefore, one should not undervalue the impact of proteinuria on the kidneys. Chronic protein leakage can impede your kidney's capacity to filter blood efficiently by causing inflammation and scarring of the renal tissue. Chronic kidney disease can result from this damage over time a serious illness that may ultimately lead to kidney failure. However, did you know that proteinuria can be quickly treated with a vitamin? If not, then tune in for today's episode when we'll discover some highly successful cures, supplements, and advice for promptly treating proteinuria. Now let's get started. First on the list is vitamin D. Fatigue, weakened muscles and bones and a quicker deterioration of renal health overall have all been linked to low vitamin D levels. However, it has been demonstrated that supplementing or taking vitamin D naturally can help treat and relieve proteinuria. Studies actually reveal that individuals with renal injury, chronic kidney disease, or proteinuria frequently have vitamin D deficiencies. According to a 2017 study, poor vitamin D levels were present in the bodies of between 30 and 70 percent of patients with chronic renal disease. Additionally, a 2019 meta-analysis of 12 trials discovered that vitamin D administration markedly decreased proteinuria in those suffering from long-term renal illness. Why is it the case? To begin with, vitamin D helps the body absorb calcium from the digestive system, which keeps the blood's calcium levels at a sufficient level. Because it supports the maintenance of renal cell structure and function, calcium is necessary for healthy kidney function. Additionally, vitamin D has been demonstrated to possess anti-inflammatory qualities, suggesting that it may aid in reducing inflammation throughout your body, particularly in the kidneys. Furthermore, a few recent studies have demonstrated that rapidly reducing proteinuria can be achieved by taking vitamin D supplements in levels that are calculated. Although taking 25 micrograms of vitamin D daily is advised by many experts, it may not be appropriate for everyone. Therefore, based on your unique needs and the severity of your disease, you should speak with your doctor to determine the right dosage of vitamin D supplements. Even if you consume adequate vitamin D through diet or pills, it's still conceivable that you be vitamin D deficient. We'll also learn about a mineral that's essential for the metabolism and absorption of vitamin D, so pay attention. The second is vitamin K2. As previously established, vitamin D facilitates the body's absorption of calcium, which is essential for bone health as well as numerous other physiological processes. The catch is that if you don't get enough vitamin K2, calcium may wind up in your blood vessels or kidneys, which is not where you want it to be. That's a serious concern because it can result in calcification, 
which is the accumulation of calcium in your blood vessels, which can harm your kidneys and produce problems like tight arteries and elevated blood pressure. Now, when you take vitamin K2 in addition to vitamin D, it helps to prevent calcium from building up in areas where it could create problems and helps send that calcium to the correct places, like your bones. Therefore, taking vitamin K2 in addition to vitamin D can be wise, particularly if you already have high blood calcium levels, proteinuria, or kidney impairment. The third item is racer mushrooms. Racer mushrooms, though not a vitamin, are arguably one of the greatest over-the-counter treatments for proteinuria and kidney injury healing. They contain some substances that might preserve your kidney's microscopic filtration units, called nephrons. Racer mushroom extract dramatically decreased proteinuria levels in patients with IgA nephropathy, a form of kidney illness marked by excessive protein leakage in the urine, according to a 2018 study published in the journal Phytocap Research. Racer mushroom extract has been shown in a 2019 study that was published in the journal Phytomedicine to improve kidney function in patients with chronic renal disease by lowering inflammation and shielding kidney cells from harm. According to studies, racer mushrooms may be able to effectively neutralize damaging free radicals that could injure kidneys and produce inflammation in them because of its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory qualities. Additionally, some research indicates that they may aid in shielding the nephron's outer layer, which reduces their absorbance. This shielding action aids in averting the collapse of nephrons, aiding in the management of proteinuria and the repair of renal injury. Racer mushrooms are available as supplements, powders, and extracts, among other forms. Generally speaking, the recommended dosage ranges from 750 to 1,100 mg per day. However, you should always speak with a healthcare professional to determine the exact amount based on your needs and condition. Angiotensin Receptor Blockers, ARBs number 4. Angiotensin Receptor Blockers, or ARBs for short, are frequently used to treat a number of illnesses, including renal disorders, heart failure, and excessive blood pressure. The way ARBs function is by preventing the action of the hormone angiotensin II. Blood vessel constriction brought on by this hormone raises blood pressure. ARBs have the potential to reduce blood pressure by relaxing and dilating blood arteries by blocking angiotensin II. This relaxation effect may also lessen the pressure inside the glomeruli, the kidney's filtering units, which would lessen the amount of protein that leaks into the urine. Magnesium is number 5. Patients suffering from renal problems frequently experience magnesium shortage. Insufficient magnesium can interfere with the body's ability to absorb vitamin D. In fact, research indicates that almost 75% of kidney patients end up accumulating vitamin D but are unable to use it efficiently due to low magnesium levels. This is mostly because magnesium aids in the process of calcitriol production from vitamin D. The form of vitamin D that interacts with vitamin D receptors and has biological effects is called calcitriol. Thus, insufficient magnesium can interfere with the body's ability to convert vitamin D into calcitriol, which lowers vitamin D's biological activity. Furthermore, magnesium also makes it possible for the process by which vitamin D enters the bloodstream from the intestines. Therefore, maintaining adequate amounts of magnesium aids in ensuring that your body absorbs enough vitamin D from diet or supplements. For adult males, aim for a daily consumption of 400 to 420 mg of magnesium. For adult women, aim for 310 to 320 mg. Leafy green vegetables, nuts, seeds, and whole grains are good sources of magnesium. Taking magnesium supplements is also an option if your healthcare provider so advises. In order to support our efforts to help you become healthier, please make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate your time, and I'll see you in the future video.